Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 2. Last time in the Valley of Repose, we headed into the Emergence Cave, got ourselves a globe, made friends with Purple Pikmin. Today, we're gonna awaken our wood and see what's in store for us in this area. Who knows? Some shenanigans will be afoot, I'm sure. If you like shenanigans being afoot, like the video, toss a comment below, and subscribe if you haven't. Stay up to date, use the bell thing, whatever makes you feel good and complete, I don't know. I have no control over what people do. I can just wish you'll help me. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, so here we go. Good morning, viewers. Or whatever time of day you watch this. Probably in the afternoons, because I upload this at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So as we are learning now from the ship, holy ship, you can't believe it. But purple pigmen are not in an onion. Oh boy. So there you go. So go ahead and get your purple squad out, squad goals. We're going to switch over to oop, the Louie, and he's going to take our reds. As you can tell, there's a slight discrepancy in the amount of pigment I have. Why is that? Well, that's because I had to actually replay everything up to this point because my game froze and it would not let me continue to be epic anymore. I have no idea what happened, but uh, yeah, it uh, just basically stopped uh, working in, in its entirety. So that was a ton of fun. I really enjoyed having to replay everything and be hyper paranoid the entire time. You know, just the, th just the simple things you do when you're trying to make content for people. Alright, Louie, use your boop a doop a doop and get them. There you go. Alright. So these are shear grubs, the male variety. The female variety are the trekky ones. They're the, the rude ones that will try to kill your Pikmin. Yes. So ignoring the fact that I don't have 64, I think that's how many I stopped the last episode with. We're just gonna, you know, keep trucking along. And we are going to soon learn that we can only have a maximum of 95 Pikmin on the field today. Why is that? Well, if you were observant for once and paying attention viewers, come on. You'd see, just kidding. You guys are great. You would see that the blue onion is also in this area. We're not gonna be accessing that today. I don't know how far into the future that will be. I don't have a ton of muscle memory for this game. I say that all the time, like that's supposed to be like, you know, different or novel. It's not, it's kind of par for the course. But yeah, I uh, I don't know. I haven't played this game in a long time. So it's gonna be a hot minute until I can get my feet under me. Oh, forgot to take this corpse back. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and kill that Mama Bull Borp here in a second, but first, it's spicy berry time. Oh yeah, I don't need all of my Pikmin to climb that stock, but I guess they're going to. So this is a this is a dynamic that was actually introduced in Pikmin 2. And would you believe it? You're gonna want to use it. So you're gonna need to grab yourself 20 of those spicy berries. The game will intermittently stop and give us updates on what that means. Also, now that we have a split squad, there's supposed to be a cutscene here, but I don't know if it's going to show it. Basically tells you that if you hold the A button and then you hit the B button, you can switch your Pikmin. Pretty inconvenient because I forget to do that all the time and I don't know what the button is, so that's going to happen a lot. But anyway, here you go. Here's your first high textured HD spicy berry. When you deliver the second one, the game will decide to tell you more, so here you go. Oh wait, is this the cutscene that I was just talking about? Okay, so here it is. I don't know why I did it in this order, but um, this is just telling you about Pikmin grouping, how you can grab them, switch which one you want to use. It is useful, especially when you want to have a purple Laganza, which we're about to do. You gotta be careful here though, because purple Pikmin are rare and you don't want to waste them so I do boop -a -doo -doo -doo. you can very quickly kill a mama bull though 
with those purple. So as you saw, their fighting capacity is pretty intense. Now, they're not as good of fighters as reds. You won't have as many of them probably in your team as reds, but they are pretty strong and they have a secondary effect of being able to daze your enemies. They can stun them temporarily. So here we go. Our very first of hopefully many spicy sprays. These are the concoctions that you use when you are gonna do a boss fight. It just powers up your Pikmin a little bit, makes them harder, better, faster, stronger. You know the deal, viewers. So instead, we'll wait for some of them to grow back. We'll have our Pikmin once again propagate more of the berries. Get in there, get in there, all right. Split up some of them over here. You can really multitask on this day if you're epic. And then we'll send the rest of our Pikmin over here. We'll send the rest of our Pikmin over here. Sometimes you have to extend the Wiimote a little bit. Here's a Nectar Goblin or whatever they're called. If you throw a Pikmin, I don't know if we have the right Pikmin to be able to do that yet. You might need yellows if you can Toss a yellow up there, it'll knock the little egg loose and it'll give you some free nectar. So there you go. Here's a reminder that you can only have 100 Pikmin on the field. The game's kind of a jerk today. And because there are five blues just out in the wild, we won't be able to do anything about that. So that's pretty annoying, right? Nothing can be done, unfortunately. Also, my, my pointer is not working, that's great. So there we go, that should be 10. If you don't know how many berries you, you have, if you hit plus, and then you scroll to the left, you can see that we've got five. So you need 10. There's five in the midst of being collected. So let's go ahead and whistle all the reds back. And zoo, nope. What am I doing, what am I doing? There we, nope, nope, there we go, okay. Still trying to get used to these controls. You basically have to like point the Wiimote when you're trying to do the boop ba doop ba doop ba doop. You have to point it as far into the direction as possible. So while those guys are going to get in that, one of the things I forgot to grab is the first above ground treasure. Where is it? There it is. The first above ground treasure for the Awakening Wood. It's a strawberry. So we'll let those lucky Pikmin bring that back to the ship. I also am gonna have a few less gold than I had la last time. I think I had like, I, I grabbed a few of the dead bull borbs underground. I didn't do that this time around because I was just trying to get back to where I was. I was pretty peeved, if you can imagine. Having my game just kind of crap itself. So there you go. Should Actually, I think we might have a maximum amount of Pikmin that you can toss at the wall. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Oop. All right, we'll just have a purple hanging on top. He's like the guy with the hammer on top of the Berlin Wall. That's probably a deep cut for all you younger viewers. I actually was not alive during that either, so I don't know what's coming out of my mouth. But the wall is complete. The strawberry has been harvested. Sorry, not a strawberry. A sunseed berry. I don't remember if it had that name for Pikmin 3 or not, but if it did, maybe let me know. I'm not going to go back and look because I don't care. So... I could get my <laughs> pointer to work. Jeez. The wall has been taken down. We can now progress. Now I'm going to warn you here. You don't need to use your purples right away. And I would recommend that you didn't just for these. Um, first few enemies. It's not really necessary. I mean, if you... <laughs> they can kill stuff pretty fast. You can just get, a, get by with your reds. In this next group... Um, not group. I don't know why I said that. This next grouping, I'm going to go ahead and just tell you that purples are kind of hard to come by. You don't get very many opportunities to use them, so just split your team up. You only need reds to do what I'm about to do. You can do this with purples too if you feel like it's taking too long. But um, switch captains too and uh, get your purples out of the way. You don't want to lose them. You're going to need them for what we're going to do today. Spoilers. Nope. Wrong button. There we go. Louie. And then, uh, yeah. So this uh, flower is a little suspicious. Let's go ahead and throw a red Pikmin at it. Oh, oh my gosh. So there you go. This is a uh, Piranha Ding Dong. I don't know what its name is, but oh, nope, nope, come back. 
It is very clumsy, and it will occasionally, occasionally trip over itself. So when it does that, you can attack its butt for massive damage. So there you go. It ate one of our reds, but that's okay. We will have oodles of, of reds. We don't have the ability to propagate anything besides red, so you might as well just let them have it. Once again, purples can only be acquired via purple candy pop bud. So just don't make any mistakes in, uh, you know, doing something stupid, like letting your purples face that, and then maybe in a previous attempt, having them get half of them eaten. You wouldn't want to do that, would you, viewers? Okay, so now that we've got squad goals, we're gonna go ahead and switch to the purples. Why? Well, because there's a fun little thing you can do here. You can kill these butterflies. Wouldn't you want to do that, viewers? You can kill these butterflies. I'm gonna try to kill all of them. If you do, you get nectar, which instantly flowers your Pikmin, brings them up to the top level of three. We've got leaves, buds. You guys are my buds, right, viewers? And flowers. So the mature Pikmin, the flower Pikmin, are the fastest, are the strongest, etc., etc. All right, so we didn't get all of the, we didn't get all of the, um, all the butterflies, but. I'm going to want to prioritize flowering the purples. You're definitely going to want to have those guys be your, uh, your boys. You know what I'm saying? My pointer is not cooperating. <laughs> so yeah, and you can have them take the, um, take the butterflies back to the ship. I think that it just produces reds because they're, it's not possible for purples to propagate this way. They can only happen via metamorphosis. So there you go. But as you can see, we're already back to full stack of reds. We did lose the one red. But I can't be too fussed about that. Don't worry about your nectar situation though. You will have plenty of opportunities to uh, to gather nectar in the future. Don't be upset. But that's the only two enemies that we have right now. So you clear those two out and you will have your chance to take on cave number two. If you venture this way, you'll see that there's a little bit of poo-poo gas coming out of this area. If you put your Pikmin in front of that, they will die, so don't. Instead, we're gonna go this way and see what this ground butthole has in store for us. You can wait till the end of the day to do this as well, if you'd like. Take your time and collect all the stuff, fight stuff, whatever. You don't have to go quick like me. You don't have to be epic like me, but if you choose to go into this underground cavern, there's a large Pikmin group that you're going to need because our first boss of the game is deep down below. Red Pikmin are a must. I don't know why you would go into this cavern here with, um, with just purples. That'd be kind of dumb, but you're definitely going to want to bring your purples. Trust me. And it will instantly save your game. So just be mindful that every floor I believe it saves in this hole of beasts. This cavern still kind of in tutorial mode, except for the final floor. That's when things start to get a little crazy. But first things first, gather the squad. I don't believe this first floor has anything on it. You're going to soon see a gimmick. Oh, there's some sheer grubs here. We can kill them. These ones I think are dangerous actually and will try to kill your Pikmin. So just be mindful of that. You can have them take, you can take them back to the um, to the ship if you want. I, I don't care about that. It's two, two gold at a time. These are just kind of minor annoyances. I'm just trying to scoot past you. There we go. We're just gonna sneak right past you. Floor two. As far as I know, there isn't anything on that first floor. I hope. I don't remember there being anything on that floor, so if there is, I'm gonna look like a big old ding-a-dong. But I'm pretty sure that there's not. Hmm. Not that I remember, but we'll find out. Okay, so one of the things you'll notice here is a nectar egg. We're gonna switch to reds and 
Get our reds a little bit of juicy love. Get some of the goo for the reds. Not sure how I feel about uh, the sound they make though when they lap up the nectar. Sounds like a very gross wet kiss. And wouldn't you know it, viewers? And more. Amore. Amore. There's nectar in your mouth. Underground going south. That's a Pikmin. You're welcome for that, viewers. So here's your second opportunity to gather some Pikmin. I'm apparently very bad at throwing. And don't worry if you accidentally throw your purples into the candy pop buds. They can't, uh... They can't repurpleize, so don't worry about it. But we have now, if you hit the plus button, 20 purples. Our squad is becoming more abundant by the moment. And there's another nectar egg on the other side. So we're actually going to switch to purples again. And throw, oh, that's a spicy berry. Our spicy spray. My bad, I thought that was another nectar. That will be something that is common in this game as you get further along. I think if we just run into it, it should just let us lap it up. I don't really want to use it. Okay, there we go. And Olimar does the, ugh, he does the same gross sound. I don't like that. And I'm sure you didn't like that either, viewers, I'm sorry. But that's my contribution to the ASMR community. So you're welcome. All right, I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah, these first two floors, as far as I know, devoid of treasure. But, viewers, just wait one heck of a moment, because there's definitely going to be some treasures in this cavern here. I promise you. I promise you so much. So just hang with me, viewers. Just be patient. Okay. The music has changed a little bit. We have now gone deeper into the cave and we are tasked with the first obstacle, which in this case are fire spouts. Only your reds can take these out. Any other Pikmin that you send to do the deed will be set on fire and die. So don't do that, it's kind of messed up. And you don't have to take out all the fire spouts. I would recommend doing as many as you can that's like in the immediate vicinity just because there are tr treasures that are hidden behind the spouts. There's no real reason not to do it. And as far as I know, there aren't really any enemies in the area that are going to prevent you from being able to collect the treasures and take the spouts out. When you're carrying stuff back though, your Pikmin especially if you have the purples with you, if the spouts aren't taken advantage of and, de and depleted, your Pikmin will be stupid and uh, run into them. So it's just easier to just take it out on, uh, on your end. Just do that, it's smart. You're welcome. So there you go. So far, so good. Okay. So we're gonna let them carry this back. That was a Mahjong thing, I believe. As far as I know. I'm not really sure how to... I've never even played Mahjong, so I can't even really tell you how I feel about it. I have no... No real, like... Uh, what am I trying to say? understanding of it, but this is interesting. This is a Nintendo Disk system. Make sure I say that carefully. Nintendo Disk System Disk. Now what that is is that back when the uh, the Famicom, what we know as the Nintendo Entertainment System in the US and A, when that first came out in Japan, they had uh, carts like they did in the United States. However, over time, there was the reality that those weren't really the most efficient way to do everything. So they decided to break it down and uh, have it on disks instead. They were quicker 
You could do more, um... You could put more data on it. You could even take your disc to, like, a, a gaming store and then have, um... You could input it into a kiosk and essentially kind of choose what game you'd like to have instead. Which I think is really cool and super innovative. Like, and we're talking the 80s here, right? To be able to have a brand new game at your fingertips. You could finish a game, have your cart overwritten, and then, uh, yeah, get yourself a new game. Pretty cool. Unfortunately, not really a thing in the United States. Not sure why, but it is what it is. There's treasure number three. Treasure number three. We'll have them take that back. Very sing-songy today. You're welcome for that. This, as you can see, is a playing card. The Luck Wafer, as they've called it. It is the Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades! And as you can tell, that was exactly how that song sounded when it was recorded. In its original format. Um, I They brought me on to do backup vocals for it, so I helped out. Alright, so if we venture in here, I cannot see what I'm doing. Oop, there's another purple candy pop, bud. So get your reds ready. I don't think I threw the full stack in there. My pointer is freaking out. I think I still missed one. Nope, that was it. All right, so you can get five more. So up to this point, you should have a maximum of 25 purples. Let's check the stats. Boom, there it is. Maximum of 25. You don't want to lose purples. It's really tough to, to get them back. You can come back into these caves eventually, I do believe, and harvest more, but if you can just avoid them dying, then that's even better, right? All right, so, oh, oh my gosh, all right, so everything is crazy. I forgot that this happened, but these guys, yeah, you know what? We'll carry their corpses back. Who is causing me trouble? That was ridiculous. Yeah, I don't like these weird Metroid looking things. Ugh, I'm not a fan of that. Kind of grossed me out. So there you go. The ship apparently is a little bit of a butthole and it's like, I don't like it when you bring bugs and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? You shut your mouth. All right. You stop. Okay. Actually, it looks like I think I did forget something, so I will have to pop back into the first floor once I complete this dungeon. I did miss a an item, which sometimes you do, you know, sometimes you just miss. All right, so I want to do real quick is I'm going to take out this fire spout that's behind Madame Bulborb here before we end her eventual life. Apologies, ma'am. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the squad up because I don't really want to use my purples for this. So we'll go ahead and whoop, there we go. And then Olimar can take the reds, just the reds here. And most of them are flowered, so they should be fine. And then we can attack her butt. That's pretty effective. She does come with another treasure, as you can see. It is the third gaming related treasure of this dungeon, but I forgot to grab the first one, so we will come back. Don't worry. So there you go. There's the sound that we got everything this time around. Would have been nice to do that earlier, but oops. Okay, so that's all the collectibles on floor four. We are just about to head, oh, there's nectar that I should be using on my perps. On my perps. If there's any purples that are not flowered, I would like them to be. They're gonna be your, uh, your path forward for success, trust me. So here we go. 
down one final floor. I'll just tell you, I'm just gonna get it off screen to get it out of the way. It was a D-pad that I forgot to grab, because I'm a ding-dong. You gotta wait for the boo, and that's how you know that, uh, that you're done with each floor. I just, I goofed, all right? Leave me be. All right, so here we go. Here's the finale to today's episode. If you couldn't uh, guess, this is our gonna be our first boss. And uh, this one is a little weird. Um, I wanna see if I can get a quick little uh, peek. Let's sneak right in here. Oop. Oh, she's sleeping. Well, first what I'm gonna do. Oop, nope, don't, do not. <laughs> Do not. All right, so first things first, decommission the squad. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna go say hello. See if we can get a better camera angle. There we go. Oh, she's so tall. You're, I don't know if I can shift the, <laughs> that's way too close. There we go. Oh yeah. This my friends is Empress Bull Blacks. So, she's a big lady, and she's gonna be really mad with what I'm about to do. You think you'd be able to smack her, but you can't. So what you're gonna wanna do, keep your purples handy, but get your reds first. You just need one, really. And you're gonna want to throw one Pikmin onto her side, and then whistle that Pikmin back. Because once this fight begins, her main method of attack if she's gonna show it. No? Okay, well, I guess maybe not. So, call your Pikmin back. Call your Pikmin back. Pikmin, hello. Call your Pikmin back. She's gonna roll three times. And she is hopping mad. She's gonna be rolling back and forth. So there you go, put on your spicy spray. Get your Pikmin all hyped up. The game is gonna tell us what we already know. Yes. So there you go. Switch to your purples and throw your purples right on her. Whistle them back, whistle them back. You don't wanna lose them. Wait till she rolls three times. Oh, did one of my, oh, one of my purples got stuck, that's okay. Was not expecting that to happen, but it is what it is. All right, so there you go. Whistle back, whistle back. Everybody safe in the clubhouse. I was gonna try to go for a no no purple death run, but it is what it is. She makes a very strange sound though. I guess that's what happens when you have Pikmin trying to murder her, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty easy first fight. And a really gross, uh, <laughs> really, really gross like enemy collectible. The other game, at least they exploded and Well, no, they, you got to carry their corpses, too. I guess it's not really any different. But here we go. It's a love tester. This was an early Nintendo toy, I believe. But, of course, it's being reappropriated into something different here. And you can use the remainder of your Pikmin to carry the love tester back to the ship. And then we will get the heck out of here. So there you go. So far, so good. Pretty easy first dungeon, first real dungeon slash first boss, I would say. And that might push us up over the, what I believe to be the 20% mark. So we went from 10% to 20% all in one episode. Yes, so there you go. The prototype detector, let's get a good look at it. I don't remember what this does once the ship turns it into an item, but. Okay, so it's a treasure finder, there you go. So you can, once you get close to treasure, sometimes they'll be buried underground, hidden. It will, it'll bing bong for you. So in the lower right, as you can see, as part of the HUD, it has been updated to showcase that treasure. We should have more gold. I wouldn't have forgotten the D-pad, but it is what it is. You have to forgive me or not. Whatever you're into, but there you go. That is one death only. Unfortunately, it was a purple one. We'll save that. And my friends. 
We'll call it a day. The game instantly dumps you back at the campsite, so you don't have to really do anything, which is convenient. All right. And actually, I do have time. I don't know if it will take me extra time to go underground and grab that D-pad. I don't want you to not see it. Where am I going? Uh, there we go. And the pellet posies are back, so... No, no, no. Stop it. The pellet posies have returned. The enemies should still be very dead. And we can go, I think, through the emergence cave. This is not the emergence cave. This is the hole of beasts. We should be able to go in here really quick. Because the boss is dead, so... I just want to show you this really quick. I realize that if I do it on another day, I don't know if I'll come back here soon enough. And if I start... If I do it off screen, it's technically considered another day, so I don't want to do that. Uh, it's in one of these... Nope, nope, go away from me. Stop it. It's back in... There it is, alright. I don't know how I didn't see this. It's, it's right here. Oh, they're trying to kill my Pikmins. That's not cool. So yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the light pink ones, those are the male ones. Those ones won't hurt your Pikmin, but the uh, the female ones, though, those will hurt your Pikmin. They're kind of jerks. But there we go. So, I said I was going to do it off camera. Lied. There it is. The D-pad. Invented by Gunpei Yokoi. He also invented the Game Boy. May he rest in peace. Okay, so that's all the Pikmin. All the treasures. I don't know. I think we probably still have to go and just like go all the way down, but we should just be able to skip stuff. Yes. And it does save after every floor, which is good if you need it, I guess. So this is what you do when you goof and you, <laughs> you have to show off stuff that you've already done. And we did lose another Pikmin, which is unfortunate. I don't know if, I don't think it was a, was it a purple? Oh, it was another purple? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, viewers, I'm going back on my word. I said don't lose purples, and here I am losing purples. You do have the option to try to escape from the floor that you're on, but if you do choose to escape, you lose all the treasures. You don't really want that. Also, this is something random that I probably should have said like sooner, but I just realized that it's of value to talk about now. Um... I will be changing the posting day of this series. I know that I posted Donkey Kong Country on Saturdays, and it went pretty well. But I noticed that this this series was starting to fall behind a little bit, kind of getting buried on a Saturday. People are probably busy, and now that for most people, um, you know, school being back in session and stuff, I understand that. You, uh... I don't know. I can't get around this. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, 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 everything's horrible. <laughs> well, now you can see what happens when you set your Pikmin on fire. Oh, purples, I'm sorry. See, this wasn't all a waste, was it? I need you all to stop. I'm missing two. Where are they? Of course, the reds lag behind. Come on. All right, so we'll be able to hit floor four, quickly pop down to that. We are almost back to the surface. I don't remember if this one was easier to sneak past stuff or not. It might be. I think there's just the one. And you can use the... Is this the way to go? No, nope, that's the way to get the... Oh, wait, you know what? Now that I came back here, I wonder if the purple candy pot buds have replenished. Oh, they have! So, yeah, you can keep coming back in here if you want to. To expand your purple squad, which I probably should do. Since I kept, uh... Losing my other ones. I'm like a big old dummy. Well, anyway... That's a benefit. You don't have to come back down here and do this. 
a good way to expand your purple squad, but not required. If you want more purples, that's the way to get them. All right, so using the boop -a doop -a doop -a doo we will sneak past and head down right past Ms. Bulborb. Go down to the final floor. I don't think I have to do the fight again, I hope. That'd be really awkward considering Empress Bullblax is very dead inside my ship. So... I would assume not. Oh, okay. Well, apparently I do have to do... Ow! She's dead! Maybe I can do... Hold on. If I don't attack her, can I just sneak past? I don't want to fight. Okay, I think I can. I don't think you have to do it again. Maybe it'll let me? Yeah, I just want to get out. I just want to get the heck out of here with my D-pad and my friends. There you go. All right, so we got the Stone of Glory. Cave is complete. I'm going to 100% as much of this as I can. No promises on everything, because there's some stuff that I'm just like, eh, no. But that's as much as we can get for the day. Lost two purples, gained three. So far, so good, viewers. Very, very nice. All right. So that is the end of our day and the end of this episode. So we're going to go ahead and I think I can just go to sunset, maybe? How do I do that? Uh, menu? Go to sunset. There we go. End of this day. Let's just get this day over with. And we will blast off into orbit. We will have a journal entry from El Presidente, I believe. They should just be giving them to Olimar and Louis. I don't know why they don't do that, but there you go. That's everything we've earned today. For those of you wondering. Propagated quite a few reds and purples. Didn't lose that many, thankfully. I'm gonna try to not make that a habit. Here we go, President. How's progress, Olimar? Remember, you'll never get anything done if you sit back and watch from afar. Press left or right on the D-pad for a close-up view of the action. Thanks. Okay. That felt pretty good. And then next time, we will get into more shenanigans on day four. If you enjoyed this episode, please like the video, comment if you feel up to it, and subscribe, hitting the bell thing, whatever. I've been D-Mike, this has been Pikmin 2, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.